Hey y'all, good morning. So I'm standing in front of my pantry because it's time for me to, as you can see, reload. <laughs> to work on a three to six month uh, food supply because it's coming on fall which means it's coming on flu season and we already know it's already C19 season so um, we need to get some more things so I'm gonna go over what I have and that way I'll know what I need to get and I'm going to Sam's I'm going to Walmart I'm probably gonna stop and look in all these I don't know and we're gonna see what we can find today. Also, the reason I'm doing the three to six month supply is because, you know, things are possibly gonna get shut back down. And even if they don't, you'll still have a stock of things that you like to eat. I'm not, I'm not, no, no, no. Don't buy the things that you don't wanna eat. I'm only buying the things that my family eats. Um, it makes no sense to go out and waste money on black beans if I don't eat black beans. Um, so I'm going to show you what I have in my pantry right now. And I'm going to make a list and I'm going to get moving with my day. Okay, I'm going to do a quick scan of everything that I have. That while I'm in the store, this will be reference for me as opposed to me writing it down right now. So my food pantry, and it's not that big, but I do have things, I have a place to store more items. I have an empty room that I can use that I already store like my tissue and stuff in. So up here is the cereal uh, shelf, I was gonna say owl, is the cereal shelf. And I also have like um, grits, but I'm out of grits. So we have, you know, the cereals that we like. We have, I bought this big bag of stevia, although I still buy the small packs um, because that's just for me to have. Um, I need to get some more of these cereal containers and you could put more than cereal in it too. And my son has these bag of almonds that he loves. Of course, you know, I eat those cereals too, healthy and unhealthy. So second shelf is, this is so not organized, y'all. This will be organized when you see it again. Organization is key when you are a three to six month pantry so you know what you have. So I gotta get it organized again. So I have like open bag of rice. I have some, this is where I usually keep my, um, my pasta sauce and so this is all i have left so i have to re-up on that i have some rice here the minute made rice i also have the yellow rice which i thought my kids would like but they don't really like it they said it's kind of dry um i bought this this quick like a month or so ago but you know this is a working and non-working pantry. So I have a mixture of things in here. So these right here, we don't intend to use. Although I think I got the wrong one. I should have got the one where you just use water because that's what you want to make it easy. Like, you know, if you don't have eggs and you don't have this, that, and the third, this says you need eggs, you need milk. The other ones, you don't. So I will be getting that today. And then over here, we have some quick oats because I didn't have room up here for it. And then we have a box of mashed potatoes. We don't really like the instant mashed potatoes, but I saw um, someone, uh, I think Leah Harper, she had the other kind of like these little packets right here that they have with the flavored ones. So I think I'm gonna look for that one today. Um, we have a box of Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits, um, some rice aroni. I got to get some more rice aroni. I also got to get some more, um, of that, like, jambalaya and dirty rice 
that we like as well because we are out of that. So the third shelf, I have some brown rice right here, which no one really likes, but if we have to eat it, we'll eat it. Um, some Jiffy corn mix. I don't know why that's right there, but I have more over here. I don't know why they're out like that. So like I said, we are going to organize this. I have some maple syrup right here, some cornmeal, and then some garlic butter rice right there. Uh, some cocktail sauce and then in these little uh, jars I have some arena sugar in that one and I had canned some rice as well you'll see more of those on the bottom shelf but these are the ones that I had already opened I have some peanut butter I need to get some more peanut butter um, my kids got these like little cereals right here when they were um, getting school lunches over the summer. So I just threw those in there. And then we have some garden rotini, um, pasta noodles, and some garlic, a jar of strawberry jam. Then down on this fourth shelf, that needs to be cleaned because people have opened things and you know, that don't make no sense. So I'm gonna clean all of this out before I add any more things to it. So we have our canned goods. We have down this row, uh, the Chef Bo RD. But my daughter likes these, but she don't like this kind. So I got the wrong kind, but I like these kind um, when you don't feel like cooking or whatever. So we've had those for a minute, so they're good. Um, we have sweet peas, green beans, something to make man with it you just got to add the meat mixed vegetables some refried beans more uh, spaghetti chef already then of course you gotta have your cream of mushroom cream of potatoes uh i love corned beef hash i'll be getting some more of those i think because let me see i have three i'll just get two cans of those you know every time not every time you go grocery shopping but i'm gonna try to do like every two weeks go grocery shopping uh, for things that i don't have so cream corn um soups i need to get more soups because i was eating soups um on my diet and yeah i'm running low so some okra tomatoes in a can you got some chili right here without the beans then you got pork and beans baked beans um bread crumbs now down on the bottom shelf these are my can't jelly i can't some grape jelly i made it from welch's grape juice you can check that video out if you want to it's on my channel and then i can't some rice right here I did the jelly on August 7th and then the rice on August 8th, no, August 28th. And I also did flour, yeah, I canned flour over here on August 28th as well. Um, I used two jars of this last night when I did some chicken. Um, so the goal is to not go into it, but I didn't want to go out and buy just a single bag of um, flour when I knew I had to go shopping today. So that'll be on my list. I got to re-up on down here at the bottom. Got to re-up on these little uh, ramen noodles. This is a full pack right here, but this is not. So I'm gonna grab probably three more of these. And these are like $2.88 for 12 um, in a pack. Now I saw them at Sam's yesterday when I was just scouting what I'm gonna get. And they had the four, they had 48 for $8. So I don't know about that. And then I have my lemon juice. I have one in the refrigerator. And I have my, I have some onions in the uh, refrigerator, but I also have some in here. And then I have my cornbread dressing when I don't want to use the Jiffy cornbread to make it. Like a, like during um, the holidays, I use Jiffy cornbread, but 
like just if I have a taste for uh, cornbread, not cornbread, dressing, I will use this right here and then all the other ingredients that I use. And then I drink these little things right here sometimes as a meal replacement. And then see that number 10 can right there? I don't want to pull it out, but I'll pull everything out when I clean this thing out because I got to sweep it and everything. So this number 10 can, I used to buy those when I had a child care center um, years ago. I used to buy big cans like this. So I'm thinking about doing that instead of doing um, the small cans and just do the big cans will be for the three to six months supply. And then I'll have like the small cans be for the active in use uh, pantry and then also I, I put some sugar in there um i need to get some more oil i have my chicken stock and then i have chickens i don't know why that's down there somebody must put that down there so also we have and i'll probably show it to you later so i'll just zoom in on it. we have this burner right here of course it's electric but we do have the one that you um, don't need power for and we have the butane um, stuff for it as well but I'll do that in a whole separate video of things you can use um, if your lights go out or just a bug out bag or any kind of thing that you would need and so I'm about to hit the store up so y'all stay tuned and I'll add to this later and remember um, it's okay to stock up and be prepared it's nothing wrong with being prepared it doesn't mean you're out here oh waiting for a uh, zombie apocalypse or anything like that you are providing for your family you want to make sure your family have what they need if things have to shut down again i know the shelves were cleaned out back in march april may and some shelves are still you know not really stocked up fully like i still can't find alcohol i'm still looking for that make sure you do what you need to do for your family um i know it might seem a little crazy uh something else were to happen because who knew that this was going to happen right so let's be prepared out here you know you don't have to go crazy and you know break your budget buy a few extra things when you go to the grocery store every time you go to the grocery store and you'll see that in time your pantry will start to fill up so let me get busy and get my pantry filled up. So if you are new to my channel, please, please, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications, and you will see more videos like this, food hauls, supplies that you should have or need to have. So things like that. So y'all take care and be blessed. The pantry tour 